This video will demonstrate how to create a PDF file using the ProjectWise Interplot Organizer interface and the Export PDF option. The first thing I'll need to do is open up the ProjectWise Interplot Organizer interface. I'm going to log into ProjectWise because I'm going to bring in files from my ProjectWise location. I'll select File, Create Plots. I'm going to add a couple of DGN files, but you can add various file types, including DGN, DWG, PDF, and various raster types. I'll say OK to that. Next thing I want to do is select File, Export PDF. And you'll notice the various settings. The plot range setting is set to all plots because I did not select either one of those files. You'll notice the creation options. I'm going to leave it set to create one PDF file containing all plots, but you have the option to create a separate PDF file for each plot. Also at the bottom, the invoke PDF viewer when done, that allows the PDF file to be automatically opened when it's created with the PDF viewer. I'm now going to select the PDF Format Configuration button, and you'll notice the different settings. The resolution setting, the range is from 100 to 1016, but the higher the resolution setting you have, the bigger the PDF file size is going to be. You'll also notice the rotation setting, version compatibility. You'll have the option to include URLs and engineering links. You'll have the option to set searchable text. You can even select the font you want to use for the search. You'll have the option to select levels, files, optional content. That would give you access to the levels and the references in the DGN file. Once you create the PDF file, you would have access to those. You can set it to print as created or print as displayed. You'll also have the option to set RGB JPEG compression. Also, the option to disable the Save Views and References bookmark. If you select the Document Security tab, you'll see that you have the option to set a password to open the document. You also have the option to set a password to restrict the document. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that, and I'm going to create, select the Create PDF button. And I'm going to save my PDF file. It's going to open up with Adobe Reader as soon as it's uh, processed and finished. Notice I have one PDF file. This file is AR1. This file is AR2.